I prefer really not to um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. I'm going to show you how to use the new Diego Simeone formation effectively, as well as show you a few breakdowns on how to use this formation, as well as tell you the type of players that you need to use in this formation to make it work properly. Let's go. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, road to 1000 subscribers, so just help me out, I'm almost there. Let's go. So as I said earlier, this formation is Diego Simeone. I realized it one day when I was randomly buying a manager and I was like, Val Bueno. And then I saw the formation and I was like, wow, this looks like Diego Simeone's formation. And then he checks out that it is Diego Simeone. If you don't know Diego Simeone, that's the manager for Atletico Madrid. Basically, this formation is very helpful as it's a counter-attacking formation, but at the same time, it's one of the best defensive formations. The reason why I said this is because you see, if you watch Atletico Madrid, which you know, that's in La Liga, you'd realize that they can score a lot of goals, especially off of the counter by attacking through the middle using short passes but this is like their regular attacking style but as soon as they score like let's say it's a big game let's say they're playing fc barcelona or real madrid or it's even a champions league match let's say they score first you'd see that all of a sudden you see 10 men defending and one man up front especially the defensive tactic of the formation so when you press put in defense you realize that you have a lot of persons behind the ball and then it's a long pass is going central so that is your you know long long passes are actually legal in this formation so I actually like using this formation so here I have an example of a classic counter attack basically we see at least 10 players that are behind the ball I'm just showing you guys the counter attack first and then I'm going to explain my actions towards you know doing this counter attack So rewind this a bit, pause, bring it back. All right. So we start off right here, right? I'm defending. So I suddenly block the ball. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight players that are behind the ball currently. So as I said, it's a very defensive formation. And seeing that I was losing, I had it on attacking formation or attacking tactic so I needed to do that so I got the ball did a quick counter attack brought the ball forward put putting it into space I saw Romario up top you can see Romario right here right but I noticed that this player right here which is Batistuta he was instead of making a run forward as you know Rashford and the rest of them would have made he turned back so I said you know what I can't pass the ball there because passing the ball through here would have been irrelevant because either he would have gotten it or he would have intercepted and it would make no sense to put the ball up here to Sancho because no one would have gotten it in time so I said let me just do a solo run and hopefully that creates some space so now I'm creating some space Beckham who was supposed to be running you know forward earlier comes and you know I decided to turn because Romario crossing isn't the best and there's still no one in the box to really receive any cross it's not yes if it was Beckham that was taking the cross I know that he would cross the ball in such a way that Batistuta or Sancho would have you know reached the ball or it would have suddenly reached their head so I said let me pass but because based on looking on this I can see that Beckham is open and another player is open more than likely that's Fabinho so Beckham gets the ball I now realize that I have space here I can lob a ball here, I can give back Romario, let him cut in, and I can give it to him right here. So I give it to Laurent, Laurent right here. Laurent now has Batistuta right here, playing off of the shoulders of the last defender. And he also has a space right here, but it's a bit tight. Passing it here would be tight, and giving it back to Beckham would, you know, that would probably be the safest route to do. But I decided to pass it through the middle to Batistuta. Pass it to Batistuta, he has a turn and shoot ability, so he turned and he shoot and I scored and that was the beginning of the combat so I just hope that you guys found this you know little clip to be a bit helpful so the goalkeeper now the goalkeeper needs to be an offensive goalkeeper so you know obviously the best choice is Oblak because Oblak you know keeps for Atletico Madrid you know that familiarity is 100% so I think he'd give you the best uh, service in terms of goalkeeping uh, your centre box you just need a you know, you just need two good centre backs. You need two good centre backs who can uh, head the ball. So it doesn't even matter what combination you use. You can use two build-up players. You can use two extra front run players. You can use a combination. Anyone. 
your wing backs now they're very important because you need wing backs that can act as also midfielders as well as overlap properly and sending some good crosses as well as pass the ball properly so i use kafu on the right and roberto carlos on the left i cannot really advise you guys who else to use because those two are really, really good in my opinion the midfield now what i actually do is to help out especially defensively i use two defensive mid forward in the middle and i use a right mid forward and a left mid forward my left mid forward is Jaden sancho mainly because he can pass well and you know he's good at taking shots as well so that's good beckham beckham is a crossing merchant so he helps especially in the crossing attacking to the center can become predictable sometimes so your opponent might start you know uh, foreseeing certain passes and you have to go on the wing and that's where the cross is from the wing you know comes in effectively your strikers now your strikers play a key role in this formation because you need two strikers you need two good strikers who can actually carry the ball and you know score goals my recommendation is actually it doesn't matter what type of striker you want to use as long as there are two good strikers that you can use effectively so in my case i would use rashford and probably immobile rashford because he's really really good in my opinion as a goal poacher and immobile because he can head the ball so whereas rashford would probably miss a couple of headers immobile would you know score those headers because his heading is better at the same time you guys can use romario or whatever because it's not really much crosses that gonna happen in this formation you just need strikers who can make good runs and there are a lot of gold pouches slash fox in the box that you can use that will make this formation work effectively luckily if your strikers let's say they aren't turning up on it you know in a certain game that is where your midfielders come into play your midfielders play actually a very key role into like you know how to execute the entire formation so that is that and that <coughs> i hope that this review was very helpful i hope that you guys basically understand what i was trying to say because as i said it's a pretty straightforward uh formation if you watch atletico madrid play in real life you'll know that they're very good on the counter as well as very good at defending so you know once you know when to use attacking tactic and when to use the defensive tactic you're good so if you're leading switch to defensive and do your over the head whatever and if you're you know chasing or regular game stalemate go attacking formation or attacking tactic you guys got this don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We're over to 1,000 subscribers. I'm out.